Across the world, World Vision works with communities and various partners to tackle the root causes of poverty and injustice, working with the poor, the oppressed, the forgotten and abandoned. Our joy is in transforming vulnerable children's life stories, turning frowns into smiles, despair into hope and witnessing God's people turn little into so much more. Well, here's a story of Nyamagabe and Mudasomwa area programs in the remarkable East African nation of Rwanda. Our work in this area programs officially began in 1999 as we transitioned from carrying out relief-oriented humanitarian work to long-term sustainable development projects. We worked with the government of Rwanda and other private sector partners to identify priority needs for the communities living in the six administrative sectors of Gasaka, Kamejeri, Tare, Kitavi, Uingingi, and Kivirizi. Our mission was and still is to follow our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in working with the poor and oppressed to promote human transformation, seek justice, and bear witness to the good news of the Kingdom of God. We sought to address the biggest challenges affecting the most vulnerable children and their families. And the only way we would find out what these challenges were was to go as deep as possible into the territories of these vulnerable families whose only source of water was a dirty pond, kilometers and kilometers away from their home, whose lives were in grave danger whenever illness hit due to their inability to access to afford health services. People whose only meal a day often never came. People whose children didn't have an equal chance as others to education. Well, it's been close to 19 amazing years now since we began this work and the results are so incredible. But don't just take our word for it. Take it from these amazing people of Nyamagave that you're about to meet. Wingingi Health Center sits on a half an acre of land and has got most importantly an entire block for maternity services. It has provided relief to mothers who used to travel up to 20 kilometers to give birth and helped those who used to have no choice but to give birth at home to receive the services required from just within their neighborhood. Dr. Gracia has been working at Wingingi Health Center for one year now. This health center was completed in 2012 by World Vision with the support from Gulf 4 Africa. She works with different patients, including and quite often pregnant women and their infants at the fully equipped health center. Dr. Gracia and her colleagues welcome dozens of mothers a week for immunization and antenatal care services and are able to serve approximately 2,100 patients a month. Well, some of them didn't think they had a chance to make it while health services were so far away. This has all changed now with close to 30,000 people currently able to access health services from this center. After a couple of days in labor, this woman here has finally given birth to a precious little boy. She and her husband are over the moon. The mom will soon join dozens of other mothers with children at the vaccination hall later. The health center welcomes women every Monday and Wednesday for vaccination services. 98.9% .9 of women in Mudasomwa had delivered their babies at a health facility in comparison to 49.2% reported during a baseline survey in 2012. Access to adequate health services for mothers and infants means life 
and so does water. Water is not only a basic human right, it is also the essential building block of life that allows children and their communities to survive and flourish. Clean water helps facilitate proper sanitation and improved hygiene. <laughs> the community members of Kirehe, singing and dancing all day long, determined to safeguard and maintain their water points even as World Vision Rwanda closes their area program. The joy on these children's faces says it all. Clean water makes all the difference. Poverty is extremely complex in Rwanda and in many other parts of the world. It is about much more than not having enough income. It's also about hunger and malnutrition, lack of access to education and other basic services. These include at higher level just what the women of this beautiful tailoring business used to face before they were able to provide for their families. They are well known and are happy to share their skills with others. Their story is similar to that of these very talented shoemakers. Their amazing counterparts who have a multi-process mushroom business up and running and thriving model farmer Israel Nsengiyumva. The main difference between their lives then and their lives now is their having put to use knowledge and skills gained at World Vision training sessions to help community members move from dependence to dignity. At World Vision, we are happy to witness the most vulnerable families graduate out of extreme poverty and are very keen on equipping vulnerable families to be self-reliant once World Vision has left. World Vision Rwanda worked with the government of Rwanda to provide work premises to the already skilled group of cooperative members operating at the Nyamagave Integrated Business Center. Veniranda is 25 years old and has been sponsored by World Vision from childhood. She now works with her partner at their tailoring business. She is very confident about doing great things in the future. These entrepreneur stories are also similar to that of Vestine, except that she's blind, having lost her sight at just the age of 12 when she fell into a coma. Five years later, at 17, she and her siblings were left orphaned and had almost lost hope. But that changed with three sources of income from her tailoring, farming produce, and rent collection, 35-year-old Vestine and her very beautiful daughter could not be happier with where they are now. Alfred and Beatrice are 14 and 15 years old respectively and have been members of the Village Saving and Loan Association for 7 and 4 years respectively. With their savings, they have been able to buy 7 chickens and a goat that is for Alfred, and one rabbit and a goat for Beatrice. Ananias and his friends are just as confident as their counterparts who meet every week to act as advocates for others like them who have less. <laughs> Working with the government of Rwanda and lawyers of hope has seen us make tremendous progress over the years in matters related to equipping children and their parents to speak out and take appropriate action against any forms of violence against children. 97 farmers currently supply milk to this collection center, which receives it every day. World Vision Rwanda constructed it with dedicated employees and everyday customers. The centers and the entire processing plant has helped improve the nutrition status of children in the area. At World Vision, we believe education to be the cornerstone of development. World Vision has been working all over the world with parents, teachers and other community members to find solutions that help children acquire the learning skills they need for life. 
It works best when we start them young. The children at this reading club in Nyamagare meet once every week on weekends, either Saturday or Sunday afternoon to learn and play. Thanks to our donors and together with our partners, we've touched the lives of close to 7,300 people every year in six administrative sectors throughout these close to 19 years. Thank you for having been with us on this wonderful journey of building brighter futures for vulnerable children.